it's giving Kia B. Y'all know that scene where she's like surrounded by all the men with the knives and she's ready to fight her way out, you know, to get her revenge for her kid. Yeah, it's giving that type of energy, right? So we got a message for you today and let's just get right into it. <laughs> so it looks like a couple people in your energy are being dealt what they put out. We have the father of baskets here in the upright, and this could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine energy. Um, they were coming around pretending as if they had all this love for you, all this affection, and it was a bunch of lies and a bunch of BS for them to accomplish whatever they wanted to accomplish. Judgment is being called on this individual, and they can no longer, you know, play in people's energy like they used to. Libra energy here. They can no longer do this shit anymore. And the judgment was you walking away. You saying, no, nah, I'm over this shit. Now, they may have left you for someone else <laughs> and didn't necessarily follow their intuition. They were very impatient. You know what I'm saying? Very impatient energy. Just, I want it now. I want it now. And they fell into some shit that was out of alignment with the lovers in reverse. They fell into a situation ship that was out of alignment by rushing and not following their intuition and just being impatient, moving too quick. And this is the king of wands in reverse. Yeah, they was trying to control the outcome. They was just being very manipulative, trying to go their own way, being very stubborn, being treacherous. But because of all of that, we now have a tower for this energy. They're experiencing a lot of endings around them right now because they didn't listen. They didn't listen to spirit. See, you found your joy. And now you know what to go after. You know what to do. We've got the hunt card, uh, Sagittarius energy. So you're free. You're free to hunt. You're free to go. Spirit say you're free to go. <laughs> because no, you no longer can be tricked. You no longer can be tricked. You know their energy. You see them coming. You feel me? So that's what's up. Now, in the present, um, there is also a temperance energy here that is trying to avoid a tower moment. So we got hella tower and death on the board today. I ain't even gonna hold you. Um, but yeah, this energy is trying to avoid a tower uh, because their treachery has been exposed. They're scared that they're going to be called out and they're going to be seen for who they really are presently. Um, they fail, though. They failed at trying to hide this shit with the sticks, six of sticks in reverse. They failed at it. They, they realized it because you are now more discerning about who you trust. You realize that you can't really work with these energies anymore. You see them for who they are. Again, balance has been restored and it could be a Sagittarius involved. Now, they lied um, and took something here. They said something that wasn't true. Now, at the end of the day, it looks like this temperance energy, um, they were trying to stop you from like... They were saying lies and shit about your plans and your finances to keep you trapped in your head. They just didn't really want you to progress. They didn't want you to move forward. So they told a bunch of lies and pretended that they cared, um, you know, but guess what? This cycle has ended as well. So it's a lot of endings. Like I said, it's a lot of endings going on, baby. And the cycle has ended because while they pretending to heal and pretending to be evolved, they are not. This energy has not grown and this energy needs to stop and heal. So they might as well quit avoiding it, baby, because it's happening whether you want it to or not. Okay. Now, the tribe, on the other hand, is you know, putting their energy into good spaces, fighting for what they believe in, and really just, you know, having strength within the adversity that's come towards them. And because they are continuing to fight for their new life and their new timeline and the investments that they've made, you know, they are going to receive a transformation while everyone else around them is receiving in endings. There's a rebirth happening here, Scorpio energy. And, you know, there may have even been death magic placed on someone in the collective. The magician is in the reverse here, Gemini energy. Um, so there was a lot of manipulation going on around what you were working towards. Uh, a lot of people just were trying to stop that. Uh, but now they are grieving or maybe they wanted to keep you grieving your losses. They didn't want you to realize that you could go another way to get, you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. That's what I just heard. Um, yeah, and they did this by emotionally manipulating you with the King of Cups in reverse. They emotionally manipulated you, and this is what's coming out. And there's a Leo that could be involved as well. Um, they emotionally manipulated 
intimidated you. They refuse to walk away. They refuse to stop their pursuits of you. They refuse to let confirmation. They refuse to let go of their goals. They really was working hard to keep you from having this happy life and this new beginning, this really fresh new start. They didn't want you to have that. So they took a leap of faith that they should not have taken, thinking they was going to have all these options, all these ways and places and things that they were going to be able to do. But they've been exposed and justice is being called. And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords here. Yeah, these people now lack the courage to do what they were doing. Again, heavy Leo energy. And because they didn't follow their instincts, they didn't follow their instincts and you've adapted. You, you've adapted. Mm -mm. What's that lady name in Kiwi? What's the little character name? I know it's Uma Thurman, but what was her name? You've adapted. You ready? <laughs> now, in the near future, you could be finding out that um, someone was very committed to keep you in this repeated cycle of not having the, the money that you needed to do what you needed to do. They was very committed. So, yeah. They were very committed. They they had a plan, baby, and they had the right plan. They were going to stay right plan, wrong person. Yeah, they were committed to stopping your growth, stopping you from getting this ability to move forward, this new path. Um, they were very hidden with this energy. They were gossiping. They were just being negative and malicious. Um, and, yeah, you still made progress, though. You feel me? You still made progress. And you're going to be hearing a lot more about this over the coming days. You're going to be getting a lot more messages and downloads as well but there's an Aquarius in reverse here someone has lost their confidence uh, Aquarius energy they've lost their confidence because they see they're not winning this shit they're not winning this war that they tried to put on you they're not winning and they see it they see that you've moved on you focused on other things you know you're making progress so they realize they're not winning um you've healed yourself you're being you following your intuition you know and you're really being more nurturing and caring and loving at this particular point so because of that they are like they're at a state of unrest baby still in the same reverse heavy aquarius energy um and they're in a state of unrest because they had a lot of secrets about what their true intentions were mm, all bad they feel like they shit gonna get exposed so overall the overall energy here is that you just had some hidden enemies and some people who just negative ass people that didn't want to see you balance out your finances in your life. They didn't want to see you find that balance at all. And you need to continue to protect yourself from these energies. You got to have some willpower here. Um, definitely do some heavy um, protection work, some cleansing, some baths. Keep it going. Okay. Yeah, there is a strength card here. Heavy, heavy, heavy Leo energy. The strength card is indicating here that somebody, mm, after a period of loss, a period of not celebrating, a period of instability, you are finally being able to give the gift to move forward. You're finally making progress here. And you are making progress because you stop thinking about being left out in the cold by these energies um, at all. You don't care anymore. <laughs> You don't care. You don't care about these fake ass people. This empress in reverse. Yeah, and they might be in deep thought too about what they've done and how they could. Oh. <laughs> And how they could win and how they couldn't do what they needed to do. <laughs> yeah, because you've gotten smarter. You've gotten wiser. Yes, hello. You've gotten wiser. You've gotten smarter. And they realize that now. So spirit wants you to remember um, that things did happen, but these are now lessons. They're not like losses. And you you become more inspired and you become more balanced when you realize that. You know what I'm saying? And maybe that was his. That's what has encouraged that for you. It's like. <laughs> You are in the spirit of gaining more confidence, Queen of Wands energy. You know, you are gaining more confidence because now you're moving towards healing. You're moving towards loving yourself. And because of that, you're begin, being given this stability and this abundance and that you're looking for. There is a Queen of Pentacles and the reverse that is worried about this, though. They worry because, again, you've healed. You've healed that trauma, baby. You, you moved past that. And... You are receiving help. You know what I'm saying? Continue to go to your ancestors and your guides for help. Continue to feed your ancestors. Feed your guides and ask them for assistance and ask them for help um, on this journey. You know, and a lot of people don't see that, you know, and maybe you don't see it, but, you know, spirits will let you know you are getting help. 
You are getting help here, baby. And there's the triangle to let me know. You're getting help, you know, to bring you the abundance. Your table is being prepared in the midst of your enemies. You know, yeah, your spirit team is working with you for sure. Y'all co-creating this boy, you know, so do what you can. Uh, continue to take care of yourself today, cancer energy. Focus on yourself, take care of yourself, take care of your home, get stabilized, get real, get true, because your enemies, your adversaries, they, they can't hold a candle to these, baby. They can't do, you know, the spirit in your answer. They walking them down, baby, walk them down. They walking them down. So keep praying, keep taking your spirit baths, keep you know, really focusing on yourself and your growth and what you want to see come to fruition in the higher timelines. You know, don't lower your frequency at this point for nobody, especially with that Jupiter and uh, Taurus conjuncting Uranus and Taurus. We in the throes of that energy and it comes to its peak on 420. So you don't need to be entertaining no low vibe energy. You try to get to the top. You want to be on top? Shout out to Jai, I think. <laughs> But no, for real though, I pray this message resonates with somebody. And if you would like a reading, you know, definitely look me up on thekushconcierge.com or email me or DM me and I'll send you a link. I love you guys and we will chat soon.